Hey guys and girls, in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking to you about object orientated programming with Python. It's going to be a very brief introduction to the subject and look to get you familiar with the concepts of classes, objects and instantiation. The first thing we're going to do is create a class. Now a class is a type of blueprint for an object and I'm going to use the subject of a uh, human being um, and we're going to look to create persons based on a blueprint. So the first thing we have to do is we need to create our actual class, our blueprint, and I'm gonna call it human. And that's the first thing I'm gonna do. What I'm then gonna do is I'm going to um, define this instantiation. So I'm gonna define double underscore INIT, and I'm gonna pass it the attributes it needs. Now you'll see here I've used, um, I've passed it an attribute already which is self and we always have to do that. Okay, class methods have only one specific difference from ordinary functions. They must have an extra first name that has to be added to the beginning of the parameter list. Okay, you don't have to give it a value um, but it does have to be there. Now it can be anything, you don't have to use self but it's really bad form not to. So always start it off with self. So I'm going to pass it some other um, values, and because it's a human, it's going to. I'm going to assume that every human has a name, uh, every human has an age, and in this program, every human has a favourite drink. Okay. So what we're then going to do is um, specify the the blueprint. So, uh, for instance, self dot name will equal name self dot age will equal age and self dot drink will equal drink and that's it that is our class set up and ready to go ready to be used so because we've now got our class set up we can actually use the class so we can create an object or instantiate an object so let's do that let's do person one and it's going to equal a human and it's going to have a name of Aaron it's going to have an age of 25 and it's going to have a favorite drink as tea okay so we've now created or instantiated our object we can actually use it and uh, uh, print parts of it for instance so for example we could do print person one dot name Okay, so if I run that now, we can see there it's printed out Aaron. And what we can go on to do is we can start to create methods. So a method is obviously something that is uh, predefined that your uh, object can do. So for example, if we've got a person, we might want to make them talk. So we can actually, uh, pr we can do that now. Okay, so what you can see I've done here is I've defined um, the method talk. I've passed itself, and what's that? What that is actually doing is passing in um, all the uh, sort of parameters from the instantiation, so name, age, and drink, uh, to be able to be used. So then I've got print my name is, and I've got placeholders. Uh, I am placeholders years old, and I like to drink placeholders. And then I've got the dot format method, which uh, uses self dot name, self dot age, and self dot drink to fill that in. So then what I can do is I can actually run that by running it as um, person one, for example, and then running uh, dot talk as a function, and that should be fine. And if we run this, we can see here that I've got print person one dot name. So there it's Aaron, and then I'm running person one dot talk which is giving me, uh, my name is Aaron and I'm 25 years old and I like to drink tea. And this is the great thing about 
using object orientation is the fact that because we've got our class set up, if I wanted to create another object, it's extremely easy to do so. By just copying one line of code, I can create a person to, I can call person to Bill. Uh, I can change the age to say 35 and Bill drinks coffee, for example. So now I've got another object and that starts to open quite a few different um, possibilities within programming. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create another method and this is gonna be a drinks check and uh, I'm gonna type the code and I'll come back in a second. Okay, so we're back and um, you can see here I've put in a drinks check. And what done is some uh, selection. So if self.drink equals T, then print self.name is enjoying a relaxing cup of tea. Otherwise, self.drink is equal to coffee, and therefore, self.name is drinking coffee, and they must be hyper. Else, print self.name must like water. So, if they're not drinking tea or drinking coffee, they must like water. So, let's uh, have a go and see if this works, make sure the syntax is correct. So, we just go person, let's do person two this time, and then we can do uh, dot drink check. Okay, so let's run this and uh, see how we get on. So Bill is drinking coffee, they must be hyper. So there we go. So um, so hopefully by now you've realized that we, uh, to do object orientation, we need a class, which is our blueprint. Um, we need to define some methods and then we need to instantiate the objects to make it run. And when we instantiate it within the cell, within the class, um, we're telling it what it to, what it's passing, so name, age, and drinks. Um, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, do keep reading. Um, as you can see from object orientation, it is it does become quite powerful when you can start creating uh, multiple objects. Um, if you want to think of this in real terms, think about uh, bank accounts. So um, an object of a bank account, what attributes would it have? So customer name, customer balance, things like that. And maybe even try and um, create a little program that simulates uh, banking and bank accounts. So I hope this has helped. Uh, do like, subscribe and share. And uh, do follow me up on Twitter. Again, if you've got any specific tutorials you want, any uh, anything that I can help with, please drop me a line on Twitter and um, I'll try and get a video up for you. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.